sound is not turned on. <laughs> Look at these little sissies. Oh, I must have something. There must be. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, wait. There must be some sort of. Hmm. Wonder why there's no sound. Sound is the best part. Oh my goodness. Pumpkin is terrified. Um. Oh, there we go. Look how great Springer is. exciting one. <laughs> That's a fun one. Oh boy. Give me a bow. Where's Chapel? The ring. <laughs> oh. Bell's all puppy. Hey, me. Hey, hey. Chucky Chuck. Come here, Chucky Chuck. Okay, it's my Chucky Chuck. Chucky Chuck will be the first to figure it out. Good boy. Snoodles was the first to try to touch it. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much some of you try to get in the way. In ounces, not in milliliters. Snoodles is 37. 37 and a half. Wait them for a few days. That's a big game. Let's see how much the pumpkin is. Oh, the pumpkin. How did you do that? 
Pumpkin is 33 and quarter. No. Was your mommy just licking you? You're all wet like you've been licked. Did you just get a bath? Mm -hmm. 33 and a quarter. So we want pumpkin to be 35 by Friday, which should be no problem, I would say. Where is he? Where's big boy? Big boy. That's big boy. You're a big boy. Ooh. Hi, Tubbs. Spranky Spranks is 43. I already put him in there. He's actually 43 and a quarter now. I don't know how he gained a quarter of an ounce in a few hours, but he did. Um, Valley Val. Oh, he's so cute. What a big boy. Mm -hmm. Big boy. Valbert is 38. Dr. Ferguson's coming tomorrow at 4.30. So bring me girls. Lunch. Bring me. I need to give you. Bring me. Chocolate eating. I guess I have to get up and shut the brain. Oh, the brain is getting attacked. Oh, I'm going to feel it. So this nice soft purple blanket is from Sprinkle's new family with the scent of his um, new fur brother, Adam, on it. We did a scent swap. So they have a blanket that smells like Sprinkle's. Praline Pudgy Butt is 37 and a half. Wow, that's good. That is a good weight for spaying. There's nothing like a milk bar purr, which is what's happening right now. Whoa, you got it. Good job. Uh, so the oranges are going to be adopted together, which is excellent. And um, we, as far as I know, Laps hasn't heard back from the people um, to confirm about Val Ruffle. But we're hoping that Val Ruffle will be going together. Here, Truffy Truff. 34 and a quarter. That's good. So they will be getting uh, vaccines and uh, their flea stuff. Dr. Ferguson has a different kind of, um, it's not revolution, but it's similar to revolution, but it handles lungworm, which is pretty cool. And she got some donated for us, which is awesome. Um, so that's happening tomorrow. And then they've got another, they've got a day to recover from that. And then on Thursday, the girls go in for their stays. And then on Friday, the boys go in for their neuters. And then on Saturday, everyone goes home. And then uh, I need to schedule Sugar Plum's spay. I'm going to try to schedule it for early next week. Oh, are you being ferocious right now? Are you ferocious? Did you have a growth spurt? Truffle totally has had a growth spurt. She's very tall now. 
She's grown out of her pudge, unlike this guy. Oh, hey, there's food right there. So I've been letting all of their blankets get scented with sugar plum and all the babies so that they have something familiar to take home, something that smells familiar when they go to their new homes. Um, the gingers will, uh, will be the only kitties in the household. Everybody, um, we had so many excellent applications. It was, um, very difficult to choose people, but, um, there will be many wonderful kittens throughout this kitten season, so hopefully everybody will get an amazing kitten that wants one. Oh! And I will have several more litters, I'm sure, throughout kitten season this year. And there are several litters currently in foster care that will be ready in a couple weeks. So including gumball soda pop um, and a couple of other ones. So where's Sprinkles going? Sprinkles likes to dig a hole in his in his box or bowl before he lays in it. Extra comfy. All right. So, there we go. All right, so weights are in. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow we will hear back, we'll hear back on the rest of everybody. We've heard, we've confirmed sprinkles and the gingers so far. Um, so what labs will do is contact them and so that they have left messages. Um, they may have heard back. I, uh, heard from them I think it was early afternoon so but Jane's been out for a couple of days so um, I think they had a couple of questions so tomorrow maybe the uh, the rest of the calls might happen tomorrow because we will typically pick a primary and a secondary and um, because Sometimes things change for people after they apply and then they're, or, or they don't get the combination that they wanted. Um, and they don't, and they don't want the combination that is available. We had lots of, um, applications for the gingers. Um, and then I think the, the, uh, but most of them were open to other colors, but so it's kind of a, you know, we try to just match the, we try to do what's best for the kittens and keeping them together is generally good. Um, or, um, you know, sometimes kittens have specific personality quirks. Like Sprinkles is kind of a sissy mama's boy. Yes, he is, but he's going to a nice, quiet home where they have one other cat and our, and our excellent animal parents, and he will be pampered and loved, and you will be able to see it on his Facebook page. And the Ginger's home is going to be awesome, and hopefully the Bell Ruffle home and the Cleaning home will be back from tomorrow. Or actually, I don't know... There was a question on one of the one of the um, uh, reference checks on whether it had happened already. So I think I'm not sure if they actually called one of them or both of them. But um, if they're going to do interviews, um, if they're going to do interviews, they do them. Um, prior to the calls going out. So they would have done that by now. Um, typically they will call uh, and talk to you. Um, so, but like I said, there was one, one kitten that, since Jane is out of town and Jane did some of the um, reference 
checking and landlord checking. Um, they had a question on one of the kittens uh, whether the those had been completed. So they'll find out tomorrow. So it's possible that one of you has not gotten a phone call. Um, and it's just because there was a question about the note that was on the application. So, uh, good sprinkles. Tomorrow should be, tomorrow everybody should know, hopefully. Um, but we've only heard back from the gingers and sprinkles. Um, and like I said, I believe a message was left for Dal Russell, but I don't actually think one was left for preening yet, so. Tomorrow. Tomorrow should be the day for that. Jane's been out for several days though, so it may not be immediately because I'm sure she has a huge stack of stuff on her desk. Pranine is being a big pain in the butt right now. Attacking tails and things like that. Um, Sugar Plum adoption will not happen officially uh, until probably at least another week. Um, just because we want a little extra. Oh, she's having a poo right now. Uh, just because we want a little extra time um, to see how she does without the babies around. So. I did ask Sprinkles people, because they stopped by to drop off the blanket, um, I asked them if they might consider bringing Sprinkles by for a little reunion um, sometime next week. Hi! To see his mama. I know that um, when, typically when they go back to laps, the moms go back separately and then are kept separate because they don't want the babies nursing on them after they've had anesthesia and painkillers um, and also because of the incision and they don't want them to con continue to produce milk so they um, separate them after the surgeries um, but on the kittens my kittens Pantsaroo, Bunny, and Bartlett um, there were two other two other from their litter that we couldn't keep because five's too many. And um, the mom and um, the one was adopted immediately and then the other one was black, all black. And um, he was all by himself so then I put the mom back in there with, with them. And this was probably a day after. They had been separated maybe for a day or two at this point. And um, oh boy, Batman was the kitten's name. He was so happy to see his mummy. Oh my goodness, to hear the purr like all the way across the shelter. So excited. So, I don't know how she would react to him, you know, a couple weeks later. I don't know. We'll see. So, we may not do that. But we might. We'll leave Emu again. She just is, is extra attached to her babies, it seems like. Um, so I'll have to, we'll see how it goes with her by herself. And I will, um, spend more time with her and what I may do is a week with her here and then we may do a week at the shelter so that 
they can also get a read on her and um, see how she does there. And then she'll have lots of volunteers that go in and pet her and give her snuggles and stuff. So that's, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, Ooh, that's very stinky. Oh, like this. Oh, you're so cute. Do I have to scoop some stinky poo now? And then I have to go. Oh. Mm. And whoever gets this little treasure, this little treasure is going to be so lucky. This is a little treasure right here. Oh. Oh, that's a sneak. Mm. Mommy loves to poo every time I come in. 